Hello. Um, I just wanted to insert this real quick before I um, got started painting. I have not been in my art room for about, oh geez, maybe um, four or five days, which is unheard of for me. Um, but the last video I posted was of this uh, painting and it was to try to see if I could get a cloud effect mixing let's see this is my container but I mixed this milk paint and I mixed um, deco art gloss enamels and then I mixed artist loft flow acrylic um, it's one one and I think I put three parts it's listed in the video uh, and then I just thinned it <clears throat> so um, I wanted to see if that combination would give me a um, cloud effect and I, I tried to show you um, what it looks like when I when it dries and so this is good and dry um, and I'll take you in close and this is what it looks like with it being dry so that's I think if I had more paint on my canvas my cells would not have gotten so wobbly I know my cells wouldn't have gotten so wobbly it was stretched too thin but the color combination is so beautiful and I don't think the camera is picking up but this part right here this kind of brownish color is actually gold and it's very metallic um, it's the 24 karat gold by deco art and also um, let me bring you in closer. The purple is also metallic and it's just very beautiful. So I really like this. I'm not going to paint over this. I'm actually going to keep this because it's a it's a set. Um, in that video, gosh, I wish you could. Can you see the sheen on it now? Yeah, it's so pretty. Anyway, I had quite a bit of paint that I put in the cup and it was too much for that smaller canvas. So I poured a um this is a 12 by 12 this is a 9 by 12 um so i poured a second canvas same mixture um and this is how it come out i really like i really really like it um i didn't record myself pouring this one just because i didn't figure anybody would want to see it because you already saw that color combination it was the same batch of paint um but yeah all this is gold let me see if i can show you how shiny it is um if the metallic is showing but the the purple and the gold were the two metallics and then this um pink was a flash flash pink um color sh color shift is that what it's called by folk art D duo i think it's color shift um anyway but yeah so these are the two pieces I created and I think I'm going to give this um, this paint mixture another go. So anyway, I really, really like this and um, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So now on to the tutorial. Hey guys. So. Today I'm going to do a, another um, kind of little experiment pour. I've got a 12 by 16 canvas and I've got the back tape top and my jumbo push pins um, to keep it up. <clears throat> and today I'm going to be doing some work with, it's satin enamels, but this is the color neutral beige I don't know if this is going to work or not I don't know if only the white gives the cloud effects um, I don't know but I'm going to give this a try so I've taken this and I'll, I'll show you I've got it mixed to this I've got this like it's mixed up this is a nine ounce cup and it's about halfway so there's about four and a half ounces in here and I took this spoon and I just put two heaping um, spoons 
of the satin enamels in here and then the rest is the Anita's um, acrylic craft paint in cream which has been thin one to one with my pore medium so that's what this is and let's see what else I've got some Anita's classic gold mix up one to one and I just have it stored in this squeezy tube I've mixed up about oh, six ounces of the burnt sienna by um, Liquitex basics I've mixed up about the same proportion um, of the Dalaroni Simply Acrylic Brown. If I could find this color brown, like this tone of brown in Liquitex or Artist Loft or whatever, I would use it. But this color brown is my color brown and I can't find it um, in any other brand. So I just use this. And then I have this paint. Uh, this is not any particular brand. I mixed this up. I had a um, a order for some paintings that contain burgundy, and I had no burgundy paint, so I made it. Um, I think I mixed some reds, like a cherry red, some dark purple, and a little bit of brown, and made this. And I wish I had written down what I made made it with, because I love this color. Um, but they're all mixed with my pore medium. I have a video on my pore medium if that's something you want to look at. Um, I'll put it in the description or in a card. So I'm just going to start by putting down a base layer. I'm always a little, I always feel a little anxious when I do these talk throughs like while I'm actually doing the painting. Um, for some reason I just feel a little more comfortable when I do a voiceover. But uh, I'm going to give this a go. I guess if it comes out and I don't like it, you'll never know that I attempted it because I'll just do a voiceover anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, anytime I try to do a cloud pour, I usually um, do like a tree ring pour or a dirty pour. I don't get very good results with like a flip cup um, I'm not entirely sure why that is but every time I've tried to do a flip cup with this type of paint it's just looked like every other painting um, and I really didn't see any results so I'm going to do a ring pour today also just because I know that's what works um, with this type of paint I'm gonna give this a quick torch get all the air bubbles out I do need a I keep saying I'm gonna get a bigger torch um, and I just never do because it would seem I'd rather want to spend my money on paint than torches all right generally speaking I work from darkest to lightest usually and I think I'm going to do the same today so I'm gonna start with let me give this a little bit of a stir. It's been sitting for a minute. I um, mean, this paint is just mixed to a warm honey consistency. I guess that's the term we like to use um, in our pouring videos. Warm honey. Um, you know, I don't even know if I, I ever saw warm honey. But I'm going to put this in. And then I'm going to put in some, ah, I'm going to put some gold in. This is a very pretty gold. Um, Anita's makes some beautiful metallics. And they're actually not that um, expensive. I think it's $2.99 for a large bottle. So that's nice. I'm going to put some my mixture in. And then I'm going to put another layer. So, some brown. And some burgundy. I'm trying to put it in gently because I don't want it to sink. 
and then some gold. And then some is it burnt sienna. And now for the rest of the cup, I'm going to pour from high up the mixture so that it goes through all the layers and comes, raises it to the top. So this is nine ounces. I can tell you that's too much paint for this canvas, but that'll be okay. <laughs> I always put too much paint in the can, uh, cup. But I would rather have too much than not enough. Alright, so I'm going to do a little spout. And I am making a mess. And I'm going to pour. I'm just going to do a dirty pour. And then go around and around. Some people say that doing this kind of circle motion makes it look like um, worms or intestines. I don't know. I kind of like how it looks. Not that I'm a fan of worms nor intestines, but I like how this looks. And I'm going to come back into the center. And I'm All right, so I can see that it is making some cloud effect. And of course it's going off the side because I can never get it in the center. Over. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Come down some. There you go. Just going to wiggle it down a little bit. So that's so much. Oh, that gold is so pretty. So pretty. All right, so the big question, the big decision, do you torch before you um, stretch it or after? I like to torch before, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, some people like their cells to be more defined, and you do lose some of that definition if you stretch um, after you torch, but I, I like it. So, got some little cells popping up. Now I'm just going to start moving my paint around. Um, and some folks like to wait a little bit and let the paint, you know, do things on its own. It's really what you like. My main goal is to see, will this react in the same way that the white will react? And I think, from what I'm seeing, the answer is yes. Come, come, come. I talked to my paintings. Kind of coach them along. I don't like, um, oh, my finger's stuck. I don't like this little bit. So I'm going to see how much I can get off the canvas. I like what the I like what the cream color is doing though. And of course I love what the gold is doing. Of course. Who doesn't love a good metallic? Let's move this around a little bit. I don't want it to get too wobbly though but if you have too much paint your cells are not gonna
I hope I'm in frame for you guys. I love this gold. I just love it. I try not to hold the canvas when I'm tilting. I try to hold underneath. Woohoo! Look at that! Let me get some towels look at that it did I, I think it did react what do you guys think am I too far up let's move you back how about right there can you see him now there you go all right let's have a look mm. y'all this gold is so incredible it's just incredible incredible i love it i love this gold i love this color combination um i don't use burnt sienna very often just because it's got that undertone that makes it hard to work with other colors but when you put it with burgundy hmm, and gold it just does something spectacular. I'm going to go over it with my torch. I'm not seeing a lot of reaction. But it does look, it does look cloudy, which is what I was hoping for. Here we're getting some sales popping up. I'm not upset about that at all. Remember to keep your torch moving so you don't burn your canvas. to sit for about 15 minutes let's see if anything else develops and I'll bring you back okay you guys so it's been about 15 minutes and this is what the painting is looking like um, I don't see any more cells popping up which is perfectly fine with me when I said I wanted to see if this would make a cloudy effect that's literally what I meant and as you can see this kind of has it, it looks cloudy it's um, fluffy looking if that makes sense and I like that it even it's sort of dimensional and um, I'm good with that that's what I wanted so um, I'm gonna take you down I'm gonna do some cl close-ups but you see um, let's see if I can get you down without making you sick. <laughs> it's just a lot easier when I don't have to cut the footage. Um, but, yeah, so, here is some up close. And I like this so much that I'm going to actually pour another canvas. So, um, to match it. I like to have matching pieces. So, I don't know if I'm going to record all of that being painted um, or not. If I just, if I don't, I'll just insert images of the finished piece. Anyway, yeah, so this is it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you learned something. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.